So here's the T240. So what's special about the T240? Well, the T240 is a dual charger, as the name suggests, T240 Duo. So what we get is we get two separate banks. So we can be charging a set of 3S batteries, and we can be charging a set of 4S batteries all at the same time. Other cool thing about this charger, it also works off of mains power. So you're able to plug it in directly into either 120 or 240 if you're overseas. And we have a power switch. So no more unplugging it. You can literally just flip the switch and turn it off. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, what else we got here? We got the fan on one side, fan on the other side. And nothing really fancy on the bottom here. We got some more venting going on. All right, what else do we get in the box? Uh, so, first problem I see here. They sent me a European plug. What else do we got? Uh, we have got banana plugs, two sets of banana plugs. We have got two sets of XT60s with Dean's connectors. So I'm assuming we're going to be connecting over here. Yep. They also provide you a set of alligator clips with the XT60, so this would be for powering it from your car battery, for example. So that's good to have. And then they do give you two small balance boards. Uh, since uh, it only has the 6S output, they, this allows for you to now charge anywhere from uh, 2 to 6S. Of course, I'm not going to be using those. We're going to be using these that we already talked about. So as soon as you plug it in, you get onto the main screen here. You're going to see your channel 1 up here, which will be uh, lit up by default. You can go to channel 2 by clicking channel 2. Uh, let's take a quick look at the settings here. So in the settings, we can adjust our buzzer volume. Um, you can also control the low input voltage. There is a balance speed here. I haven't given it a shot yet, but uh, it does have a slow balance speed, normal, and also a fast balance speed. You can also adjust how much, how much wattage you want per channel. So the total wattage of the unit is 150 watts of AC power. And you can split that 150 watts, uh, either 75, 75 per channel one and two, or you can also add more to one of the channels compared to the other one. Uh, you also have channel one and channel two settings. Uh, of course, they are the same here. So you have an internal temperature cutoff, which is defaulted to 80 C. There's an external temperature cutoff defaulted to 60C. Uh, it does have uh, temperature um, plugs for both of the channels. It does not come with those. So if you do want to monitor temperature, you will have to get those separately. And you also have a capacity cutoff, which defaults to 10 amp hours. And you have a safety time cutoff of 240 minutes. You can adjust either one of those. Once you're done, click on save and exit. Other option you have here is a memory. So you can set up to six different memories. Click on modify. You can set your uh, battery cell to either auto or you can set it to a specific um, cell. You have your end voltage, which defaults to 4.2. I don't charge over 4.2, but you can go to 4.25. I know some people like to do that. Um, your charge current can be set from right here. And uh, once you're done, just click on save and it will save that memory. So next time you come around, all you got to do is click on that memory and it will use those settings, which uh, can come very handy since most of us, you know, charge the same batteries over and over. Uh, outside of that, what else do we got here? We have uh, discharge settings. Uh, you have uh, storage, uh, same thing here, and voltage, charge current, discharge current, uh, and um, your charging if you don't want to do balanced charging. With there is a calibration option as well, so you plug in your batteries. If you have a really, really good voltmeter and you can check all the cells, uh, you can adjust the uh, cell voltage uh, on the screen to ensure that it is correctly cal calibrated. I don't have anything fancy. I use this sucker right here, and comparing this with this, they are exactly the same, so I'm going to say that it is good enough. And uh, what I wanted to show you here is the monitor option. So clicking on monitor, you have an IR check option. So clicking on IR check, it will go ahead and check the resistance of each one of the cells. So we're coming in at 18, 17, and 18. So we can definitely see that this battery has some age. 
Um, so as far as charging goes, uh, you can have, you can charge any one of these types of batteries. So we have lipos, life, lilos. Uh, you have high voltage lithium, a nickel mill hydride, nickel cadmium. Uh, smart batteries, so it can do it all. Um, I only care about the lipos for our uh, drone flying. We take a, a four cell battery again. Let's go ahead and plug this in. You'll see here the battery cell currently says auto. And as soon as I plug my four cell battery in, we now change to 4S. So it does recognize if you're plugging in a 3S versus 4S versus 6S, it will automatically change the battery cell. But as always, make sure that it is definitely set to the correct cell count. Don't take anything for granted, especially when playing with LiPo batteries. Uh, so once you're ready, all you have to do is make sure your charge current is set to where you want to be. This one's a 1500 mAh battery. Let's go ahead and charge it at 2C. We'll click on Start and it will start giving you some readouts uh, in regard to the internal temperature, the input voltage, um, the actual voltage of the battery. Um, you've got uh, current, capacity, and now you can hear the fan that kicks on. So the fan um, doesn't seem to have a low, medium, and high. It's pretty much just the high sound. So it is uh, a little bit louder than my Turnigy. Uh, so what else can you do here? You can click on cells. So you can see the cells as they are charging. So currently we're all at 3.83, 3.82. And uh, it will continue to do the cycling of the fan as it's uh, charging. So again, it's either high or off. So I did a quick balance charge on uh, this 1500 4S battery. Uh, it was uh, from storage voltage, so it was at 3.8 volts when I started. Uh, we took 16 minutes and 6 seconds. On the left-hand side here in channel 1, I've got six 650 mAh 3S batteries. On the right-hand side here, I have got five 1500 mAh batteries. I'm going to charge these at 10 amps, and these are 7.8 amps, and let's see what happens. So it's been running for almost 3 minutes here. The 3S batteries are running at 6.4 amps. The 4S batteries are running at 4.80 amps. Uh, so that's about, uh, what do we got, 11 amps of total current. Now I am, of course, uh, limited here in the US to 120 volts input. So that may have something to do with the fact that I'm not able to get any higher than that. Lastly, let's uh, test out the discharge function or the storage function. So it doesn't look like we're doing 2 amp discharge. It's been averaging about 0.63 amps uh, or 630 milliamps of discharge. But we are, what is that, about a quarter of where we're supposed to be? And the strange part is, is that we are at 3.81 volts per cell even though I set it to 3.85 volts a cell. So I'm not sure exactly how far it's going to go. I'm going to continue to monitor this closely so that it doesn't obviously drop too low. So just a word of caution, um, even though it says 3.85 volts per cell for the storage, it did bring it down to 3.80 volts per cell. So I'm perfectly okay with that. 3.80 is what my other charger goes to as well. But uh, kind of strange that it set to 3.85 and it went all the way to 3.80. An hour and 48 minutes and 21 seconds for a 1500 mAh 4S battery to completely discharge. Uh, yanked out 1121 milliamp hours from the battery. Final thoughts on the HDRC T240 Duo. Um, I do definitely feel that this is a great value. I mean, it's a you know perfect size. It's very lightweight. It's easy to carry. You can uh, use uh, LiPo batteries to charge your other batteries if you have large LiPos. You can plug it into your car. You can plug it directly into the wall. Works on AC and DC. Works overseas. Works here. Um, has dual banks. So you can charge different types of batteries at the same time. All of that is fantastic. The touchscreen is responsive. Things that I don't like about this, um, of course, at 120 volts, I'm not able to charge my 4S batteries at 10 amps. Um, I would like to be able to get to a little bit higher than 4.8 amps, so I'm going to play around and see if I can possibly use an external power supply. The discharge is abysmal. 
um, almost two hours to discharge a 1500 mAh battery. But then again, this is a charger. It's not really meant to be a discharger. The IR sensor is fantastic. So now I can keep a track of my battery's health. And then lastly, the price. Uh, you know, you can pick up the uh, C240, I think it's around 65 to $68. The T240, this one here, between 68 and a little bit over $70, between 68 and 75 So competition out there, you're going to be spending $150, $200 easily for a double bank uh, charger if you look at ISDTs or Hobby Mates or any of the other brands. Uh, so for the money, definitely recommend it. Uh, you can pick one up either from Amazon. Um, you can also get one from Banggood.com, just like I did. Of course, if you get it from Banggood, just be careful. You may get the wrong power plug. Um, but if you do, don't worry. They will take care of you on that. And again, it's just a normal uh, laptop charger cord, which I'm sure you, you probably have, you know, 12 running, uh, you know, lying around your house. So recommendations. Yes, I, I definitely recommend it. It's, uh, it's going to make life a lot easier. Now I can use uh, both my Turnigy and the T240 Duo to charge my batteries up in the morning and be up and flying uh, before... Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's afternoon time, so that's fantastic. Um, any questions at all on the T240, don't hesitate to uh, leave a comment down below. Um, also, please uh, click on that uh, like button, click on the subscribe button, and click on that bell so you can get uh, more uh, videos from me. And uh, hopefully you liked it. Thanks so much for spending the time with me, and have a wonderful day.